this morning. Shi Yulin, good day yesterday, keeps it going at 12. Eight birdies in her card yesterday. This for the fourth of the day. Looking for her first ever LPGA Tour victory. Shanette Wanasea and the young Thai star who had herself a Sunday in Portland last year. Yeah, and a tree-lined old-school golf course. That got her to seven under, made another birdie to get to minus eight. We've seen this before. Defending Champlin Grant, 13. Twelfth birdie of the week so far. Aditi Ashok knows how to get it done with this club. At the 14th, walks it in. Grace Kim at the 13th. Really good season for the young Aussie. The week barely began, already a dozen birdies. Last year's Rookie of the Year on the LPGA Tour, Korea's Haydan Yu. Curls that one in, so Haydan. Surprised this hole is playing as the toughest hole in the golf course today, Jim. Yeah, it's always a tough one, but it is the toughest. You're right. 11 is the second toughest. And that's always a tough one with the hole location. But I think it's a lot to do with this location over here on this left side. Back to 50. Yeah, I want to say it now. This for birdie and this to get into a tie for the lead. Great shot she hit in here. Oh, that was not a great putt. Just not enough speed. Had the line. She'll have to settle for parts. Just wanted to do smile out there, Grant. Give her a birdie opportunity. Yeah, birdied one, bogeyed six, doubled seven, bogeyed nine, but did birdie 12 and 14. Right. That sounded a little heavy, but that's about 12 feet below the hole. Pretty straightforward putt. Go right up the middle. Shouldn't be much of a break on that one. 15. Yeah, he ran you in a pretty basic chip shot. Picks up the speed. He gets about halfway there. That right into the slope, and that's going to kick it over to the left. That did not was a solid hit. Yeah, pretty straightforward. Just 37 yards left to this pin for Shi Yulin. Again, this pin in the, the back right portion, so chipping across the screen. Ah, that kick actually held. Not what she's looking for. Expect her to hit that inside five, six, eight feet there. But disappointed with that one. Chung and Lee, six. Well right of the green and salvages par. Came out clean. Pretty good. Good opportunity for Birdie. Got Birdie this par five with her length, but that'll work. Is she going to be okay here getting it to the green or no? This is an aggressive play. Got to get it up very quickly. At least get something to the bottom tier. Not sure if she's going all the way for the green. Oh, wow, what a shot. Straight up the hill, about 15 feet. Oh, I caught most of it. Sure looked good. 16 top 10s in the last three years and not a win yet, but I, it's just a matter of time. It's when it's going to happen. To stay at minus eight. Ah, that was a pull all the way. So the 15th takes a vic another victim with a bogey. Just a tough hole. She made 130, over 130 feet of putts yesterday, too. But this is the strength of her game. Oh, that was a little more speed. That might have got in. Don't see her miss those very often. Caught it. Did she, I think she might have done that yesterday. That's twice we've seen her kind of use it all. That gets her to 10 under and takes the lead. Third shot for Shanati Wanasean. If I gave you a four on 16 every year when you came here, would you take it? or? It'd be the biggest shock of 2023. Good to see Sandra Gall back after some injuries the last couple of years. We've seen her in a handful of events this season and curls that one in. All right, third shot for Maya Stark here at the par five. Currently 
four under par. That sounded pretty clean. Let's see if it spins. Yeah. Whoa. Don't spin too much now. All right. That's a good chance for birdie here at the par five. She's in a perfect spot here. Shouldn't have to worry too much about the tree, although that front right hole location brings it a little bit more into play. It's a very safe shot there. At the par three eighth, Mal Saigo. chance. How many would chip this versus putt? Zawanapura. Did it on the last hole. If you do it like that. That's why she does it. Correct. But not many to answer your question. Head on you did win the Louise Suggs Rolex Rookie of the Year Award. Here's last year's winner. Head on you. She'll have a tap in at the 16th. We had some breezy conditions yesterday. It looks great out there at the moment. Yeah, I talked to Marina. Stark now for birdie is to get to minus five. Eighteen's a par five, so make a little bit of run. It's not quite flat calm out there right now, but it's... But the weather is so pleasant. Oh, I've, I've never seen through the Midwest. Cut line right now, 78 players still at even. Ah, nice putt there. It's sort of two under. This season, her rookie year, 17. Yeah, I want to say in his third shot, currently eight under par, trying to get it to nine. That releases nicely. There you go. That's how you play that one. Should be much to that putt there. Really move it. Tons of carry, both of them. We're trying to harness it, Morgan. That's always the challenge, isn't it? All right, Grace Kim from Birdie here at 17. Finished 11th here in last year, so just one back. What a good shot she hit here, a third one in. Nice putt. But Grant with the one shot lead with a good chance at 18 for an Eagle or a Birdie. We'll be right back. Dana open. Lynn, short of this green, found the rough just to the front left portion of this hole. I have to get it up on the front portion and all the way back to this pin, which is up on a ridge. Yeah, she had a much easier shot than Aditi did because she was able to see the putting surface, able to see the green, where you want the ball to land, how you see it bouncing and then releasing onto the hole. I like to think of it almost as if you're using a paintbrush. And that didn't carry nearly as far as what she had drawn up in her mind. She's got it down on the flat, so this shouldn't be very difficult. Should release. Ah, that was beautifully yep. done there, Jim. Absolutely. Yeah, she would have gotten a really good read. And she was no question would have been paying attention. Hit it with a little bit less pace and went to school. But if you told Aditi you could win a gold medal... Well, I mean, I just I think of the Aditi effect from Tokyo and uh, what that did. I mean, the ripples that created on social media with her incredible performance. And she didn't she didn't even win a medal. You don't often get to represent your country, but when you do, it's a proud moment. Trust me. Nice putt. There is no greater honor, Jim, nope. than than as you of course know, wearing at least for In us, our case, red, red, white, and blue. blue. Correct. This was at the 18th Cheyenne night for Birdie. Time running out, Morgan, for Cheyenne. Make another Solheim Cup team. Yeah, there's still some events with a f quite a few points to be had. This is Shannon Tiwanaseyan, one off the lead. She's got a chance to tie the lead, maybe better. I don't know if she likes this one. She should. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is for a two. Shades of Portland last fall. Hedgin Choi had the lead overnight. She's won over today, but she can get one or two here with a good second shot.
I mean, that 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 looks like a poor shot compared yeah. to Shanetti's, yeah. and that was. Yeah, she also feels very comfortable here. Has a host family that she stayed with for many years, and a lot of the players feel that comfort of home here in this Toledo area. The entire community really supporting the event, even more than just coming out to participate. This, for an even par 71 to back it up. Yesterday, 31 putts in round one. golf course where you know you have to make some birdies and you, and you know you have to putt well to win. Look at that, just brush it in for Eagle to take the lead. And not a bad leave here. Big high shot, trying to get up that slope. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, look out. Uh, if you can't tell from what just happened there, she wasn't trying to hit it there. No. <laughs> Otherwise, she would have asked her. 34 to this front pin for Lopez. Trying to get it to draw. Oh, excellent shot. Wow. Is that any good? I had to start with two in a row there, Jim. Mm -hmm. Playing for Texas A&M. This would help. There you go. So that helps. Got a par 5, 18 to go. You can spin it back a little bit off the green when you get it this close. The wedge in your hands. A mm, couple good shots. Well played. Third shot at the par 5 18th for past winner here, Jasmine Suwanapura. Moria safely out of the way, she thinks, of this one. Green side in two. Oh, wow, and that weird third shot, Morgan. Leads to a three putt. The ensuing bogey will drop her back to seven under. Yeah, that is just, I mean, throwing one shot, if not two shots away. Called it a tap and a little more than that, but uh, not much for Jasmine. Four under par with minus 11 leading the way. Her. This done this weekend would be a big deal for her. Yeah, big deal if Rito can make this one from out of the rough. And into the hole, on the green, nice birdie, good start. It's a birdie at three, that brings a smile. Grew up here, plus, have, plus having to worry about getting the ball in the hole. Lexi at 12. Thompson with 123 from the first cut. Three good approaches from Lexi to start. Iron play, uh, really. Lopez splitting the fairway here, just one yard in front of Thompson, has 122 to this hole. Good start for Gabby as well, a birdie and a lip out. Got it right here in the bunker. Right on that cut line. And nicely done, that was just a moment ago, but that'll get her done. Nice, that helps. A couple birdies, good start. All right, Stacey Lewis, second shot here at the 11th. Of course, five top tens here. Had a third, 2019. You gave everybody kind of a thrill thinking, oh, she has a chance to win it. But great start yesterday. Begging for it to go. This hole's not been the easiest green to hit. Only about half the field hitting this green in regulation today. Look at this. Oh, nearly hold another from off the green. Leticia Beck for birdie at 14. Oh, she needs it. Needs a big week to move up that CME points list. Yeah, the toughest hole of the day. Just always a brute of a par four, but makes that look easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tough angle here to this pin location. Needs to clear that bunker to this left pin. 99 to clear, 116 to the pin. Well, let's spin back the 13th green goes from back to front. Did she make it? Oh, beautiful shot. Yeah, that's a wonderful spot mm -hmm. to putt from now, Jim. Almost yep. straight up the hill. She's choking up quite a bit on this. Maybe going 
with a half club more, trying to control the spin. You can see that sawed off follow through. Oh, it worked. A couple good shots in there. Thought the whole location yesterday was easy. Par 314, the player you got to know last year, Laura Wern. Yeah, one of the rookies in our rookie pod last year. Great to see her playing some good golf. Liu, this is for birdie at 15. This to get to minus seven. This is a tricky putt. Not tricky for her. Whoa, how about that? Three birdies at 11, 12, 13. Cleanse the palate a little bit. Yeah. And then that one. That was a good one there. How about that? Lopez on a similar line to Shibuna, putting across the screen and up the hill. Nice. There you go. 30, 10. That's a good chance at 11, but a nice one at 13. This is to save her par. She'll be in Paris representing her country at the Olympic Games. Yeah, the Greens, even though we haven't gotten rain last February, it's quite the party. We had a lot of fun. From Charlotte, North Carolina, played collegiately at Furman. She's got it in the fairway here, six under par. Morgan mentioned she's playing some good golf, found something 12th at Avion. Three top 25s this season, so good week so far. Stay right there. Oh, okay, that's a good play. Carried it just over that slope. This is Linnea Strom. Did she ever hit it great on that Sunday at ShopRite? Tied for last place entering that third and final round. Shot 60. Come from behind and win for the first time. Very front part of the screen, once you get over the false front, actually slopes away from the player. We saw Lexi and Gabby land into the false front and kill it. But if it lands over it, it bounces forward. Oh, it's right on top of that yeah. false front. All right, a little trouble off the tee for Stacy Lewis. This for par at the 12th. <laughs> Grinding. Get her to five under par. Good place to putt from. Just a little break into the right. Oh, of course. Nice. All right, Linnea Strom. This also for birdie. Making it look easy. Good reads there. Just heard a couple under. Started on the back there. Nice done. Nicely done. She has the best angle because she has a clear shot. There's that bunker that's short left of the green that makes the shot from the fairway or the left side blind to that whole location. It's why you see a lot of players bail out to the right because they just don't know. It's, when you can't see something, it makes it just that much more difficult. But Gabby taking an aggressive line with a good angle. Lined up out to the right. Going to try to draw this in just a little bit maybe. Looks like it started online. Swing button. He liked it. It's a spin back. Oh, excellent shot. She's hit some great iron play in there. It's the closest one so far, so see if she can pay it off. That's an important thing. If you're going to use a line, you need to make sure, one, you know how to line it up properly, and two, it's lined up where you want. And look at this roll. End Looks over like end. Was. Lined up where she wanted. Right in the middle. No problems. Three birdies for six holes. Good start. Look at that. Lexi not using a line. She's got that one dot on her ball, which I like. It gives your eyes something to focus on on the golf ball. Olympic participants in the field here this week. Stephanie Meadow at 14. This is promising. the hill good place to putt from here okay aggressive with the speed back of the cup Bunch of she loves that event you heard her tell amy rogers earlier in that walk and talk that's a big goal for her 
It was a great weekend at Sahali for Lauren Hartledge of Kentucky and a beauty here at the par 3 8th. She got herself into contention at the KPMG Women's PGA. 